Welcome to Dowdy Ficklin Stadium, home to the East Carolina Pirates, where the purple has engulfed this place as they are ready for a showdown. We're really looking forward to this matchup. You've got a team that's made its way into the top 25, now trying to pass an all-important road test. As we'll see, the number 25 team in the country, the Navy Midshipmen, taking on a fellow AAC opponent, the East Carolina Pirates. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. And the Pirates will get us underway with the opening kickoff. And he hauls it in, and everybody's on the edge of their seats. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. The mids offense will get the first possession of the game. And here's the man they rally around, and he has earned that type of respect, David. You dang right. You earn it by doing it, and he's done it at such a high level. Everyone believes in this young man, and Palmer, there's a reason why. You're right, David. He's been in the big moments, and he's won the big games. This guy delivers when the game is on the line. Got three on first down at second and seven. They'll give it on the counter. Bulls his way forward. Tried to move that pile forward. He maybe gets two. He's down at the 21. Now the defense will try to rise up on third and short from the 21. Gets it out quickly. And they wrap him up, but not before. He gets enough on the catch for the first down. New set of downs after that completion. Goes to the option. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards maybe, second and seven. Tried to pound it on first down, now back to the line. Here comes the option. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. It's third down from their own 34 as they try to keep the drive moving. Caught over the middle, it's Chapman. And the completion gives him a fresh set of downs and keeps this drive moving. Yeah, and you see running backs in today's football, they play a wide receiver basically for you, but you got to find a guy that you can throw it to, and you know he's going to catch the ball consistently. Navy is clicking on all cylinders right now. On the option. And how about the efficiency on that one? It'll bring up second and four. Got a little work done on first down, now back to the line. The option look. And he'll be taken down, but he does have enough for the first down. Tune in to the Ocho. Eighth play of the drive coming up. Looking to throw, it's Horvat. He's going for a big play downfield. Holds it in on the left. And he'll haul it in and take it to the end zone. Touchdown, Navy! Quarterbacks love receivers that can get separation, but that amount of separation uh, is a little excessive. I agree, Reese, and I think the defense needs to have a little powwow on the sidelines and talk about what just happened because that was an absolute busted coverage on the back end. Defense can't keep playing like that. Lining up to add another. And with the extra point, they get the first seven of the game. An 84-yard drive there. And they close the deal from 43 yards out with a touchdown pass. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. So East Carolina's offense has its first opportunity of the day. The offense set for a first down play. He's looking to throw it. Fires to the right. That pass is incomplete. Now second and 10. Makes his connection. He's brought down, but he went backwards after that completion, not the way they had it drawn up. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. And the quarterback is knocked down back at the 13. 
And how about this defense? Your offense goes right down the field, scores on the first drive, and now you come out, get a big sack on third down, and force a punt. You talk about creating momentum early and shutting the home crowd up. Mission accomplished. The Pirates will try to pin them back with the punt. Three and out, they got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. He only needs a sliver of daylight. He'll be brought down, but there is a flag on the field. Let's see what that one's about. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Garcia to pass. Fires to the big fella. Gets it out to the 38-yard line after picking up 10 on that one. And the Pirates will snap it on first and 10. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Wide open downfield. At the 35, he's got room. And this defense was flailing as he weaved his way and got down to the 26. I know it's early in the game, but defensively after that play, you know you have to tackle the catch. When this guy gets the ball in his hands, he is so dangerous after the fact. So it's okay for him to make catches. You just got to get him to the ground quickly. Wants to throw on first down. Trying to get... And he's all bottled up, and now it's worse. The ball's loose. Man, and this is why you practice five points of pressure with the football. You cannot put the ball on the ground. It doesn't matter how many defenders are around you or how hard you get hit. You cannot turn the football over and expect to win games. The drive continues after that fumble scare sent the offensive coordinator's blood pressure into orbit. They go to the draw. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. He's looking downfield to throw. Get it out on the screen. And he never had a chance. As soon as he caught it, the defense was right there. The Pirates decide to punt it away. First punt of the day, and he'd love to lock them up close to their goal line. Dude, how about that? Boom. I mean, you talk about power. That dude just booted that thing halfway across the field, completely flipping the field position and getting it down inside the 10. That is a nice job by that punter. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. He'll let one fly from deep in his own territory. Pressure got to him, couldn't get rid of it, and they got him for a safety. Oh, and how about this defense? Understanding where they are in the field, they got a chance to put points on the board, and they do. The kickoff team lined up. They'll have to give it back after giving up that safety. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. Line gets set, first down. Garcia wants to throw. Unloads to the wideout. It's caught! And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chain. Offense lines up for a first and ten from the 43. The pull and throw off the RPO. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. And the Pirates racing to the line in the hurry up. Unloads quickly. Ripping off a good chunk inside the 25, and they're set up with a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They're going to throw it again. Got it in the middle. It's right. And he's almost to that first down marker there, saying he's a little bit short. They might want to bring out the sticks and measure, but it looks as if he'll be just short of the first down. Out of the gun. The running back has it. 
And he was able to shed a tackle and pick up the first down before they finally get him on the ground. They've moved it into scoring territory, first and 10 from the 11th. Looking to move it through the air. Now he's going to break the pocket. And the quarterback caught up to and sacked at the 12. All right, offense has got to be better. You've done a nice job getting the football to this point in the red zone, but now you can't go backwards. You've got to be able to get rid of the football if it's not there, and that was a terrible play giving up the sack. Operating in the red zone here on second down. From the gun to Gale, looking for room. Works his way down to the 10-yard line after a pickup of three. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. Garcia to pass. Moving out of the pocket. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, ECU! Man, and he's hurt. Because defensively, you got him right where you want him. you got him backed up. you got to make him make a play. But you want to make him throw. He doesn't throw because he can do that. Look him scramble around, make something out of nothing, and run it in for the score. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they have a two-point lead. They took it 71 yards down the field. And the capper on that drive, the 10-yard touchdown run. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. And Navy will go back on the attack. And the last time they had the ball, they wound up giving up a safety, Jesse. Yeah, that was ungood the last time they had the ball. So they got to do something here offensively to get into a rhythm, running and throwing the football. Try to find that consistency there. And try to find something positive with this offense. Forget about the safety. Those don't happen very often. Try to get some first downs together. Get some good mojo going. So they're facing third and short from the 25. Handoff to the fullback. Fights his way for a couple, but stopped short of the marker. It's fourth and one. Navy will have to punt it away. First time we've seen their punt team this afternoon. Fair catch called for and made. And the offense takes the field, ready to go back to work. The give to the back. They get him stopped at the 32. That's a gain of four. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Trying play action. Got it in the middle, it's Kelly. Brought down at the 47, but not before he ripped off 15. The Pirates come to the line in the hurry up. And that's why they got to keep running the football, man, because play action is going to be a big part of this game plan. You've got to get this tight end over the middle of the field vertically and give him an opportunity because you just... Ball in the air, intercepted! Was looking for a little more daylight for a big return, but he'll settle for the pick and setting his offense up at the 24. Man, that is how you get it done as a defense when you're playing cover one. Like, you got the middle of the field safety, but everybody else is manning up. Nice job running with this guy, seeing the football, breaking on it, making the interception, making the big play for this defense. And here comes the Navy offense. They'll run the option. A seven-yard pickup. It'll be second and three. After the good pickup on first down, let's see if they keep it on the ground. Off the play fake. Feeling some heat. And they got him. They'll get him down for the sack. The defense just simply not fooled by the play action. Oftentimes, as an offense, you're hoping the run fake's going to slow down those pass rushers. But man, oh man, they had their ears pinned back. come to the line facing third and long from the 25 dropping back it's Horvath getting some heat he's gonna take off 
He goes out of bounds after a solid gain on the play. Navy will have to punt it away. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. Looking for a block. It's Bond. Everybody stays in their lanes well enough, and they stop him at the 31-yard line. East Carolina sending the offense back to work. From the gun, they'll try the middle. At the 45 on his way. He got a bunch and looked close to getting a lot more, but he's got the first down. To the ground, he's got it again. And a pickup of eight opens a world of opportunities on second and two. After the good pickup on first down, let's see if they keep it on the ground. They'll try the left side. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Might be decision time if the defense can get a stop on third down from the 45. They'll try to get the first through the air. Catch in the middle, it's Savage. And the Pirates are stopped, but not before getting it past the sticks. Comes out throwing on first down. Right down the middle. Oh, he drops the football. He had him right down the gut of the field. Instead, it'll be second down. He's looking to throw. Setting up the screen. A pickup of eight now to convert this third and two. Trying to pick up a first down. They keep attacking through the air. Got his man in the middle. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. Grabbed over the middle, it's Smith. They make the tackle, but he's got a fresh set of downs and it's first and goal from the seven. They'll try to get it in with the run. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. Got it! He's all the way down to the two-yard line. Just spectacular execution there. And they've moved their way down, but still they need two more yards. Can they bang it in with the running game on third down? And they can't quite hook up trying to make a completion in the back corner of the end zone. Looking for the score! Incomplete, and the defense holds. And let's hold on just a minute here as the officials are going to have a second look. After taking another look just to confirm everything, the officials on the field got it right. Play will stand. And he has a solid gain before the defense bottles him up. To give to the big fullback. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Third and short, they've got them backed up inside the 20, and the D can get the ball back here. Grab near the marker. It's step. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throw and catch. Now on the option. Now after that run, they're in pretty good shape at the 30-yard line. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. He'll ride his man on the option. He is tackled, but it'll be a fresh set of downs. Navy is clicking on all cylinders right now. On the option. He'll keep it himself. <clears throat> That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. He'll try to overcome that last play on second and 15. They'll run the option. And just wedges it ahead a bit before he's brought down. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Back to pass, it's Horvat. He makes the connection. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. Navy will have to punt it away. He'll call for the fair catch here. East Carolina has it back, and the Purple Pirate offense will go to work. 
They've got it back after that last drive stalled out, and they were stopped on fourth down, David. Going for the big play. It's complete. A huge pickup. And they'll do more than move the chains. They'll move that thing more than 30 yards down the field before he's finally stopped. The Pirates want to pick up the tempo. Off play action on first down. It's complete on the right side. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. It's a draw. And he's able to find a little bit of running room before they get him down. Draws and screens are a great way to slow down really aggressive pass rushers. It allows the defensive ends and the defensive tackles to run upfield. The offensive linemen kind of push them upfield, go down to the next level, try to sneak in a big play. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and short. Into the end zone. And he's got it! Touchdown, Purple Pirates! Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they close the deal with a 16-yard throw for the touchdown. Fielded in the end zone, it's Bryant. He's brought down at the 16, would have been much better off to take the touchback. And the midshipman offense making its way back onto the field. Off the play fake on first down to throw. And that defense gets to him, and down he goes at the nine. When it's a play-action pass, that quarterback, he really has to sell the fake. He can't tell his offensive lineman's getting beat right away while he's selling the fake. He had no shot. And they're trying to dig out of the hole on second and long from the nine. Quarterback on the keeper. That'll be a beneficial run as he creates some breathing room and gets it up to the 13-yard line. As they get set to snap it, just about to reach the end of the quarter. To throw, it's Horvat. Throwing right. Tremendous awareness along the sideline and the ability to get the foot down for the big pickup. While we're only through one, these quarterbacks have been lighting up their stat lines. Heading in the opposite directions now as we crank it up in the second. Here comes Navy back to the line after picking up the first down. Give to the big fullback. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. Off play action. He hurls one deep down the left side. And that's going to be incomplete, going for broke on second down, but third down's coming up. Trying to pick up a first down. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. Navy will have to punt it away. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. He turns like that or why you don't settle for the fair catch if you don't have to. Picks up just a little bit of yards to help out the O. They'll run the RPO and throw it right. And he was able to get away from one tackle, but plenty of help was on the way. Decent pickup on that play. 
They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. And the Pirates pick up the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Here's a quick throw out to the left. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. Offense gets set for second down. Garcia wants to throw. Oh, he's going to try to get it all here. Got it! They will score! Touchdown, East Carolina! And this receiver is on fire. He's got all the skills that you look for in a big-time target. And that's already his second touchdown of the game. Try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point extends the lead to 16. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they finish things off with a 44-yard touchdown pass. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. And Navy will go back on the attack. They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. Got room at the 35. Bulldozes his way through. Defense on skates that time. They finally drag him down at the 42. Yeah, defensively, you better be ready to run east and west when you're playing against this offense in their running game. That time, the offense was able to outflank the defense to the right side for a big play. They use the chunk play to cross midfield, and they've got it first and 10 just outside the 40. On the option. Pass the 30. Brings him down at the 27-yard line. It's a pickup of 15 and a first down for this offense. Goes to the option. Got some room headed to the goal line. And he's sprinting. He'll take it all the way. Touchdown, midshipman! Yeah, no monkey business. First down, come downhill, run the fullback. He gets in the end zone. Let's not, let's not make any bones about this. Be physical, run that thing, block those guys up front. Nice job by this offense taking care of business in the red zone. The AT unit on the field. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And he capped it off with a 27-yard touchdown run. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. East Carolina sending the offense back to work. These two defenses have had their head spinning here in the first half, and now we might even see a little more scoring with this drive. It's going back and forth. This is like two heavyweights just trading blows, David. What has this defense got to do to get a stop here? I, I tell you what, man. When you're giving up points like this and you've got no momentum, you've got to find somebody that can make a play to create some. And, and listen, if, you're if they're scoring anyways, let's be aggressive. Let's blitz more. Let's, let's make sure we're making them feel discomfort in some way, shape, or form. Now they'll run the draw. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. We've got a timeout here as this coach is challenging the call. He wants to give the replay booth the chance to have another look. And how about the keen eyes and sharp awareness from the coach to challenge that call? And the officials agree it'll go his way. He's got it. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. The Pirates are marching down the field. Using his legs, it's Harris. And that's a very productive first down play in bringing up second and three. Fires to the tight end. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. 
He leaves it with his back. And they'll stop him just short of the first down, just inches away from moving the sticks. Garcia to pass. He finds his man. They make the stop, but the sweet throwing catch is ready to give him a first down. And the Pirates come to the line with a new set of downs. This time, they'll go to the running game. Got some room in to the goal line. Touchdown, Pirates! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. I love running backs that have a nose for the goal line. Understand how to get there, finish strong into the end zone. No, I get six, and then go celebrate with your boys. They'll try to add another to their lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. 76 yards on the drive for the touchdown. And the capper came on the run to the end zone from the 13. On the run from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team and they stop him at the 21. And here comes the Navy offense. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Here comes the option. And a good, solid pick up there before the defense knocks him down. When you've already sent your punter out four times, at least he knows he's going to get his varsity letter, and his leg might get a bigger workout if they don't convert. Now they'll really try to get this drive going. Good execution on third down as they have it first and 10 at the 31. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. Stuck with a running game on first down. Now here they come again. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. Here on third down, will they go back to the running game? On the option. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. Navy will have to punt it away. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. East Carolina has it back, and the Purple Pirate offense will go to work. Really good balance on that last drive. They mixed it up all over the place, Jesse. Yeah, and how nice, too, to have the defense on their heels, because at this point, they don't know what's coming at them. They had problems stopping everything that last drive did. So I think this defense would come back with a little more aggressiveness. I mean, they let them have what they wanted. Now they got to dictate to this offense a little bit more. Can't make the grab quarterback. Just missed him a little bit. Couldn't find his man last time, and that leaves him with a third and six. Garcia wants to throw. Quarterback extends the play. And he couldn't find quite enough running room to reach the line to gain. The Pirates will punt it away on fourth down. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Makes a move. He'll put a stop to that return as he gets it up to the 41-yard line. A first down for the offense. He wants to throw. Snagged in the middle. It's step. And those slot receivers nowadays, they're little water bugs, man. You, you can play touch football in an elevator to lose to these guys because they're so quick and so dynamic. Get open and catch the football. And he doesn't find much running room. A short gain on the play. The option look. They convert on third down as he gets it to the 46-yard line. Offensively, are you going to take four to six every play? Yes, please. Sign me up for that. I'm going to take that every single time. Great job by the offense. Staying patient, staying true to who they are. You want to run the football. You want to be physical. You want to establish yourself. Check, check, check. They'll run the option. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. Kept it on the ground on first down. Now back to the line. Now on the option. 
They finally make the stop, but the big run is plenty to move those sticks for the first down. Navy is clicking on all cylinders right now. He'll ride his man on the option. They'll rip off eight on that play. It's second and two. And here comes play number six of the drive. On the option. And the defense stops him just short of the first down. Maybe needed a few more chain links to move the sticks. Give to the fullback. They've got it just outside the red zone. They'll move the chains. It's at the 21. Here comes Navy back to the line after picking up the first down. Sticks it in his belly. They'll go to work on second down after doing damage on the ground. Run it with the fullback. And they'll bring him to the ground after a short game. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. They'll power it inside with the fullback. Fights his way for a couple, but stops short of the marker. It's fourth and one. And here comes the field goal unit. And this one splits the uprights. After putting three on the board, the kickoff unit ready to go. Here's the return from inside his tent. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. East Carolina sending the offense back to work. Give to the back. Now after that run, they're in pretty good shape at the 30-yard line. The big pickup on first down leaves him with second and one. Quick strike complete. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. The run from the shotgun. And a nine-yard gain on first down leaves him with second and short. Rides to the back. Tackled after picking up the first down. Well, the offense is in a really nice rhythm right now. It seems like no matter what they're dialing up, they're getting positive yards. And it just feels so good as a play caller when you know on first down, you can get yards like that turning around and handing it off. Yeah, and on the other side, you're scratching your head going, what the heck can I do here? you got to find something. The defense has got to find a way to create some momentum. Whatever they're doing right now, it's not working. So you got to keep going through that play sheet and maybe find something a little bit different that can give this offense something to think about. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. They're bringing heat. And he was drilled just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. A third and long coming up here. Gives it to the back on the draw. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. And the Pirates will bring the punt team onto the field. And they won't be able to down it. It goes into the end zone for a touchback. And the midshipman offense making its way back onto the field. They're going to have to be more aggressive in this drive. You can't expect to win this one, David, kicking field goals. No, especially when you're trailing. you got to have a little more urgency and maybe a little more aggressiveness, Jesse. And field goals are not going to get it done down the stretch. Yeah, you're going to have to take some shots, no doubt. Bottom line, when plays present themselves, you've just simply got to make it. They've got it at the 37. It's first and 10. They'll run the option. He'll toss it. A confident, tough, efficient run gets it up to the 44. They can really be aggressive after that last play at second and three. On the option. Stopped at the 46-yard line, but give him 10 yards and the first down. 
Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. And here comes the offense on second down. Goes to the option. They'll give him four on that one. It's third and six. They're about to run a dirty half dozen plays on this drive. Here comes the option. And they're able to get a third down stop here. See if they go for it on fourth. Kind of in that in-between spot here. Long field goal. Can't really punt it from here, so they'll try to convert on fourth down. And they can't make the connection on fourth down, and they'll turn it over. Here comes the offense on first down. A quick pass to the left. Using him out of the slot, he has just been unstoppable. And I love putting dynamic athletes in the slot that I can move around, that I can put in motion, that I can, I can make him go in or out. I can put him off the ball so you can't get hands on him. And they've really featured this guy today. See if they can turn this drive into points. They've got it first and 10 at the 50. Garcia to pass. Throws to the back. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Out of the gun. They'll run it inside. Only a couple there. And now staring at third and eight. They line up. And it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third and long. He's going to have to throw for it. And that one's incomplete. They weren't just trying to move the chains. They were trying to move the scoreboard. Instead, it's fourth down. And the punt hits ground at the two and goes into the end zone. He just missed. Pinning them right in the shadow of the goalpost. It'll come out to the 20. They'll go to the ground. Got to be smart, patient, great vision. Uses all of that to get to the 29. Nine-yard pickup on first down, and now they can take a shot on second and short. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Here they come, trying to convert a third and short from the 28. On the option. And they did not let him reach the line to gain. It'll bring up a decision here. Navy will have to punt it away. And these guys have been busy. Sixth punt of the day. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. They're going to throw it to start the drive. He's got his man. And he throw a little hitch route. Nice job getting the ball out of his hands quickly. Wide receiver, quarterback. Nice job being on the same page. Nice completion, nice catch. On second down, he's looking downfield. Grab near the marker, it's Smith. They'll move the chains after he gets it to the 43-yard line. First down for this offense. He's going to pass. Caught. And they finally haul him down, but not before the good catch and run. The Pirates will have it first and 10. Looking to throw it again. A little screen to the running back. He makes a stop, but a nice pickup there on first down. Leaves him in second and manageable. Garcia wants to throw. Finds his big tight end. And he's knocked down, but not before moving the chains. Setting up for a first and 10 from the 26. He's looking to throw it. Finds his man. It's right. And that completion good for a short game, but they still have some work to do to pick up the first down. The offense calls a timeout to stop the clock. Wants to throw on second down. Fires to the wideout. Can't quite make the connection there. Might have led him a little too much. Ball is at the 20. They'll try to convert this third and short. From the gun, wants to pass. Grab near the sticks, it's Harris. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. There's a timeout on the field, tight game here late in the first half. 
So the officials take a closer look and the replay booth will overturn the call. Trying to find his man on first down. He got a hand in there, knocks it away incomplete. This offense has a second down play. He's looking to throw. Unloads to the right. Snags it. Huge game before he goes out of bounds, and now they've got it first and goal. This offense has been a juggernaut, and they have a chance to pad their total just before halftime. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. They'll immediately call timeout. Can the D deny them on second and goal? He's looking to throw. And the pass is incomplete thanks to a big hit. The defense has been up to the task so far. Now it's third and goal from the three. Garcia to pass. And it's caught! Touchdown, ECU! How about the day for this young fella? Three receiving touchdowns. Hey, defense, that guy's good. We might want to do something about it. Let's send two at him. Let's send three at him. We can't let this guy continue to beat us time and time again. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is good, and the lead moves to 20. Precise, relentless execution on that 13-play scoring drive. And they finish it up with a three-yard scoring toss. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. And Navy will go back on the attack. He wastes no time and comes out throwing. Got a man. It's Hutchinson. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. Looking to throw on second down. Going to try to pop one on the screen. And they knock him down, but he got past the line to gain. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Guys, one of the best atmospheres in football, and we've got a fun one from Greenville. And if you thought that was a quick first half, you'd be right on the money. An offensive showcase, yes, but it's been those dynamic running backs who have set the pace. I'm curious to find out if this ground and pound approach is going to continue into the second half or if one of those defenses will actually show some pride. And with that, let's send it back to the fellas at Dowdy Ficklin Stadium. All lined up and ready to go for a great second half ahead. On the move from inside his five. And they'll haul down the returner to start us on the next drive. East Carolina has it back, and the Purple Pirate offense will go to work. If it's working, why change it? And that running game was working in the first half. I imagine we'll see a lot more of it here in the third quarter. And you just know the offensive line was telling their coordinator, put this on us. Let us continue to go out there, push these guys around. We can put this game on our back and end this thing by running the ball. And this is a manhood question for this defense. Like, as a defensive lineman, and you're pounding the rock, pounding the rock, like, I got to physically rise to this challenge. This defense has to play more inspired and more physical in the second half. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. Defenses throughout the week study every third down situation. You got to be ready for what they do, how they do it, and then be able to adjust. Great job by the offense so far having success. And the Pirates have it with a first and ten. Making sure they have good balance, keeping it on the ground. It's the MO of this offense, and they really put a lot on the offensive line to go out and really try and establish their dominance and their assertiveness, and they've done a good job of that early in this game, running the football. And the defense snows him under after a very short game. Garcia wants to throw. 
Got it set up on the outside. Well, give the defense credit there. On third down, it almost looked like they were expecting the screen. They gave up a few yards, but not enough for a first down. Now they've got a chance to get off the field. He'll get it to about the 25 before they put a stop to the return. And here comes the Navy offense. The option look. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. Just got one on that last run. Now second and nine from their own 26. They'll run the option. These little gains can start to add up as he gets it up to the 34. Third down, and this offense is already in a world of trouble. They could really use a conversion, not to mention multiple scores. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Navy will have to punt it away. Excellent coverage that time. Didn't give him any room to set up a big return. First down here for the offense. Looking to move it through the air. Snares it outside. It's Kelly. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. On second down, wants to throw. He looks that one in nicely. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. On the ground, it's Harris. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. From the gun, running back gets the give. They get him stopped at the 32. That's a gain of four. Now facing a third and long. Garcia to pass. He's got his man. Really nice pickup there as they have it out to the 44 with the first down. The Pirates are on the move. They'll throw it on first down. Grabbed in the middle. It's Kelly. Nice pickup there. Gets him the first down and sets him up at the 45-yard line. Use the play fake now to throw. And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. You know, one of the tricky parts with play action for a quarterback is that when you turn your back to the defense to sell the play fake, you have no idea what's going on behind you. You don't know what the coverage has become, and you don't know which D linemen have won their one-on-ones. The worst thing is you turn around after the play fake, and bam, that defender's right in your face. That last play, the kind of thing that can mess up a really good drive. It's second and 17. And maybe they want to try somewhere else because there is nothing doing in the middle of this defense. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. On third and long, doesn't need to take the check down. That's caught. It's Harris. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. And the Pirates line up to punt it away. They're up to a half dozen kicks today. And the punt will hit at the one just a little too far for them to be able to down it. It'll be a touchback and come out to the 20. Now on the option. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. Win with the running game on first down. Now back at it. He'll ride his man on the option. And they'll bring him down after a short pickup. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On the option. Now the toss. They'll finally make the tackle, but that option was executed to perfection. Ball is at the 35. It's first and 10. They'll run the option. Just sort of a relentless run, getting everything that was available to him, and they'll mark him down at the 40. They've been running it, but now the pass. Trying to escape and get it himself. When you've been around like this guy has, you know how valuable picking up the first down with your feet can be. Running back goes in motion. Going to the running game. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. 
lost one on that last win. It's second and 11. On the option. Just a one-yard gain leaves him with third and nine. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Wants to throw. It's Horvat. Going downfield for the big play. And it falls in complete. But it could have been much, much worse as the defender was right there. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. East Carolina sending the offense back to work. That last one looked like a back-breaking drive, David, but they ended up punting. Yeah, and they put some plays together, put some yards together, but the most important stat is putting points on the board. And this offense has to finish, Jesse, when they get across that 50-yard line and start getting in scoring territory. Yeah, there, there was some good execution, no doubt about it, but I think it's the critical down and distances, third down in particular. They've got to be better moving forward. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Love the execution there on the screen. The running back shows pass protect, pass protect. Last second turns around, so he's able to get the ball. The D linemen have already run past him. Now he can turn up field for a big gainer. He'll try to field the putt and bring it back. Couldn't get away from that cover team, and they've got him down at the 23. This drive opens up at the 23-yard line. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Got his man. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. Big chunk play to start this drive. Now they'll really try to take it to this defense. He'll do it himself. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Here comes the offense on second down. Goes to the option. Creating some space, getting just enough good blocking, and they've got it up to the 47-yard line. If every journey begins with a step, this offense needs to step into a third-down conversion and then try to turn it into some scores, and fast. Navy will have to punt it away. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines, not his best work. East Carolina has it back, and the Purple Pirate offense will go to work. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here, Bob. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. Caught close to the marker. It's Smith. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. He wants to throw. Looking to the big tight end. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down. Second down coming. After the misconnection, it's second down. Garcia wants to throw. It's complete. And they'll pick up the first down and mark it at the 47. The Pirates are rolling down the field. Running behind that left side. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. The inside handoff. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. A third and long coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. Throws to the wideout. Oh, what a spectacular layout and catch. And the Pirates have it with a first and ten. A seven-yard pickup. It'll be second and three. Yeah, he does a really good job being decisive, getting downhill, being a great runner. And guess what? You know how easy offense is when you get me at second and short, second and medium? Everything in the playbook is open to him. Ran the ball on first down. Let's see what they do on second. Out of the gun, the give to the back. The Pirates get enough to move the chain. From the 30-yard line on first down. He's going to pass. Looking down the middle. And he throws down the gut of the defense. It's incomplete. Long drive continues as the offense keeps working the ball down the field. 
caught behind the line. It's right. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. Here comes third and short from the 24. And this offense does not want to send out the field goal unit. From the gun. Wants to pass. Quickly complete. He steps out of bounds, but he's got a first down on the play. And the Pirates have moved it inside the 20. Looking for a gap. It's Harris. Relying on that running game as they threaten to pick up a four down to the 13. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. The give on the inside. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. He's got it and still on his feet. He steps out of bounds, but not before he has enough to set him up first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. He bullies his way all the way down to the five-yard line. Now the offense tries to punch it in on second and goal. The run up the middle trying to steamroll his way in. Touchdown, Purple Pirates! And the punishment has been extended. Another rushing touchdown. That's now two on the game. This offense thought they could come into this one running the ball, being the more physical team, and they look like it right now. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. So that was a lengthy 17-play drive. And they punctuated it with a five-yard touchdown run. He'll start the return inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. And the midshipman offense making its way back onto the field. Here comes the option. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. Tried to pound it on first down, now back to the line. On the option. And they'll stop him after a minimal pickup. Now looking for that first down on third and short from the 26. Pre-snap motion quarterback trying to get a read. He'll make a play on third down. He's got enough for the first as they mark it at the 32. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Not much he could do there. Does pick up two to the 34. After picking up a couple at second and eight. The give to the fullback. Line is set on third down. Dropping back, it's Horvat. They'll throw it to the back on the screen. They make the stop, but not before the screen has hit him for a first down and much more really good execution by this offense. The option look. Some really tough running there gets him to the 45-yard line. Just had a solid pickup on first. Now let's see what they've got on second down. They'll run the option. And he's able to shed one tackle, but still, just a very short game. This feels like four down territory, third and short from the 40. Now on the option. Open space at the 25. And he put his foot in the ground and turned it upfield and turned it into a big play. Great decision to keep it. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Pressure's there, and he lets it go. Hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass, and it never had a chance. He'll ride his man on the option. He can't corral the pass. The ball's on the ground. And the defense snatches it, and they reverse the field. First down here for the offense. Pulls and fires complete. 
and he's able to shed one tackle and pick up pretty good yardage. They'll line up for a second down play. He's looking to throw. Unloads to the wideout. It's caught downfield. And he's brought down after a nice game. They've got it first and 10 at the 50. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. And oh, he was off to the races after the catch, and they finally drag him down. I feel like this guy's having one of those games. It happens maybe once in your life. He's just been open everywhere on the field. He's been lighting up the scoreboard. He's turning these defenders around. They just simply can't cover him. The Pirates will line it up on first and ten. The aerial assault continues. Catch in the middle. It's Kelly. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. Man, we're seeing the tight end used more and more in the passing game. You, you see him move him inside. You see him move him outside. You see him move him in the box to block people. So here they put him in the slot and just have a nice little pitch and catch session. Quarterback stands alone. All wide receivers. Garcia to pass. Finds a man on the right. They'll get it down to the eight-yard line on that throw and catch, and the defense is backed up against the wall. And there is no question they should just keep letting this guy throw the ball. He's five for five on this drive. They've only run five offensive plays, and he's already got him down here by the goal line. Let him keep chucking it. And the Pirates have it in scoring position on first and goal. Use the play fake. Now to throw. And that one is picked off in the end zone. Really nice focus by this sophomore, and he jumped on his chance to make a play. Well, I think it's pretty safe to say this guy's going to be getting a helmet sticker. That now his second interception of the game. He has just been lights out here today. They'll snap it from the 20 for the opening play of this drive. The back goes in motion. The give to the fullback. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. Got stuffed on first down. Now it's second and 10 from their own 20. On the option. And as they get him to the ground, clock running. Looks as if time will expire here in the third. And talk about spreading the ball around. Everyone getting a chance to show off the hands based on the number of targets we've seen. One more quarter to go, and it looks as if we are ready to play. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. The throw. Can't make the play on the interception, and man, they were looking for their first pick of the game. Instead, it'll be fourth down. He will signal for the fair catch and take it just inside the 35. East Carolina sending the offense back to work. Boy, they had that last drive moving a little bit, David, but then the mistake just crushed them. Yeah, and those mistakes are going to happen. You're going to throw the football, you're going to throw interceptions, but I think I stay aggressive with this offense. I get back to what I did in the first part of that drive, what made me successful. I agree, David. Just turn the page if you're a quarterback, right? On this drive, you did a lot of good things there leading up to that pick. Forget about it, move on, play the next play. They'll put the tight end in motion. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. And he gets it to the 45-yard line, and that'll be a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They'll run it to the right. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? Got stuffed on first down. It's second and 10. Fast motion from the offense. Garcia wants to throw. Firing to the right, complete. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. From the gun, the ground game. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. The Pirates will line up to punt it away. That thing was down for a while, but the big bounce carried it into the end zone, and it'll be a touchback. 
And Navy will go back on the attack. He'll start this drive firing. Caught over the middle. It's Hutchinson. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. On second down, they'll take to the air. He's got it. Makes the grab, and it's enough for the first down before he's dragged to the ground. A new set of downs after the completion. He'll come out throwing on first down. Pulls it in. It's Chapman. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup. The completion short of the sticks. It's second down. He's looking to throw. Out of the backfield, he's open. Really confident throw and catch there. Big pickup, and they have a first down. Navy is clicking on all cylinders right now. Just missed on the connection, incomplete. Second down coming up. They'll throw again after the incompletion. And that pass will be jarred loose on second down. That brings up third down. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. He wants to throw it again. Complete downfield. They are on the move. As they pick up the first down, they'll spot it at the 28. The big fullback's got it. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. Let's see what they've got on second down. They'll run the option. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. A manageable distance on third down as they try to convert from the 20. Tackle is made after the first down. Defense has to be frustrated. The offense keeps matriculating and matriculating and matriculating the ball down the field. Pre-snap motion in the backfield. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. After losing yardage, it's second and 12. They go to the ground. Not a lot of daylight there. Let's give him one to the 14. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. On the option. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. Might as well go big or go home. They need a touchdown, and it looks like they're on their way home anyway. They'll go for it on fourth. He snares it in the end zone. Touchdown, Navy! Wow, what a play. We got, we're going to need to see that again to make sure he makes this catch and gets the foot in bounds. That was a great acrobatic play, understanding where you're at on the field to make that big catch. He'll try to tack on one more. Splits the uprights. That is what they mean when they say ball control, a 14-play touchdown drive. And they finish it off by connecting from 10 yards out. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. East Carolina has it back, and the Purple Pirate offense will go to work. The give to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Gets it out fast. No chance to run, but they still move it forward. So what do they have for third and short from their own 23? Looking for space, it's Harris. He powers his way ahead, gets three, but they're still looking at fourth and two. And the Pirates will call on their punt team. They'll look to pin him deep. Slips through the line. Working his way on the return up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. Offense getting set for first down. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. Almost had the completion. Just missed it. Second and ten here. 
Moving the running back, forcing the defense to adjust. The sweet feet keeping the play alive. And there was nowhere to go for this quarterback, and down he goes. And they get him again. This is a offense that you expect them to protect their guy. I mean, he is a dude that you, you know if you give him time, he's going to make plays. But this defense is making sure he's not getting that time. Now facing a third and long. Looking to throw, and he needs a bunch. Fires to the right. Makes the grab. They'll get him down, but not before he crosses the 50. He's down to the 49. They'll throw it on first down. Got his man. Tackled immediately after the catch. After that last completion, it's second down. Looking downfield, it's Horvat. Fires to the wideout. And it'll be incomplete. This is some physical pass defense. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Throws to the wideout. Another incompletion on third down. Coach has no choice here. The offense has to stay on the field, down multiple possessions this late. Fourth down attempt coming. Makes the grab, and it's plenty for the first down. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. Back to the air one more time. Lines is back in the middle. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. They've put this ball on lockdown. Eighth play of the drive coming up. The play action fake. Unloads to the wideout. Makes a connection. And they make the striking connection, and they've got it down to the 13-yard line, a red zone chance. Goes to the option. He'll pull it on the read. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. It'll be second down, and remember, they can pick up a first without scoring. Here comes the option. Not a whole lot of progress made there on the short run. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. In the gun, looking to throw on third down. Fires into the end zone. And he can't quite make the connection as he was trying to pay off this red zone opportunity. On fourth down, looking to pass. Using his feet to buy time. So close to that end zone. He could almost taste it, but it'll be first and goal for this offense. Defense is backed up. Shadow of the goal post trying to defend their own end zone. With the run on first and goal. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And the defense stopped him again on second and goal. They'll go to the fullback. He works his way ever closer all the way down to the one-yard line. They desperately need to get the score here on third and goal to have any kind. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, midshipman. Nice job on third and goal. You know what's coming. I know what's coming. The physicality, the offensive line doing a great job. And the fullback gets the handoff right up the gut, takes it downhill, uses his power, and falls into the end zone for the touchdown. Ready to try the point after. And it's perfect. So they played keep away and held it for 16 plays on the scoring drive. And they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. East Carolina sending the offense back to work. After giving up that last touchdown, they've still got the lead, but now feeling a little bit of pressure to answer with one of their own, David. And it gets a little bit tight. Listen, we're getting later in the ball game. This offense punted last time. They got to find a few plays, Palmer, that they really love here. Steal some more. And the pass rush is effective, and they tackle him at the 19. All right, I know we're winning, and that's great. 
but at some point, we got to stop getting our quarterback killed. Like, we got to protect the most important player on the field. Please? This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. They've got the screen set up. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. Well, this defense has given up some big plays in this game so far, but they've got a lot of talent on that side of the football. Someone has to step up here, make a play, get a stop, and put their team in a position to win. And now on second down for this offense. From the shotgun, they'll run it. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Garcia to pass. Makes the grab on the left. And how about that? What the doctor always ordered. An explosive play to the 40. Well, this guy's been a go-to guy for this offense all game long. We've seen that. And here on a critical third down late in the game with the lead, guess who shows up with another big one? That guy. The Pirates have their offense in high gear. Out of the gun, the inside give. On the move at the 30. He's brought down, but not before they pick up the big first down. And the Pirates come to the line with a fresh set of downs. On the ground, it's Harris. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. Got a little work done on first down, now back to the line. On second down, looking again to throw. And that's just a flat misfire, not even close to his receiver. They run into a bit of trouble here, third and long from the 25, and the last thing they want is to get knocked out of field goal range. Almost intercepted, and what a momentum swing that could have been, but they still force a fourth down. Here comes the field goal unit as they'll try to take the three. Never a doubt. Right down the middle. And that will extend their lead even further. The kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away after putting up a field goal. Let's see what the defense can do. He'll bring it out. It's Bryant. That gamble did not pay off as they bring him down at the 12-yard line. And here comes the Navy offense. They're trying to slow that rush down with the draw. He'll be stopped at the 27, but it's a 15-yard gain. They'll put it in play from the 27, first down. He's looking to throw it. They're working that left side. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. You know, at this point of the game, guys, trailing the way they are late in the game, check down throws are not going to get it done. You have got to be more aggressive in the passing game. You're going to have to just start taking shots. It'll be third and short from their own 33. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. He's run out of bounds, but he's got enough to move the sticks. They've been able to get the ball out of their own end nicely. First and 10 from the 38. Looking for a man. It's Horvat. He's right on target. And that's perfect for the defense. You'll give that up all day. You're winning this game by multiple possessions late in the game. Play big zone coverages. Keep the ball in front of you and tackle the ball carrier inbounds. On second down, he'll let it fly. Pulls it in. It's Chapman. And they wrap him up, but not before he's got enough for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Well, down two possessions. Good news is you get the completion. Bad news, though, did not get out of bounds. You know right now, saving the clock. That is at a premium for this offense. 
He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. If they're going to keep covering him like that, they're just going to keep going to him. Yeah, and it's so hard because you want to stay back and, and take away the weapons outside to the wide receivers, but when this guy's going to be able to catch the football and he makes plays like this, now I'm going to have to maybe go play more man, bring a guy to him, and not let him get those open touches. It's just so nice as a coaching staff when you've got quarterbacks who make good decisions. And on a second and short play, you're throwing it, you're trying to catch the defense napping, you might take a shot, nothing there. Go get it yourself. Make the right decision to keep it, not panic, and get you a fresh set of downs. You know, QBs want to make those big plays. They want, to, they want to put up the big stats. But when nothing's there, sometimes you just tuck the ball, get a minimal gain. I like the slide, by the way, too. Get down and don't take a big hit. Caught near the sticks. It's Hutchinson. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. We've reached the two-minute warning, and we see miracles in college football all of the time, and they could use one here. And he is going to lose yardage. Nowhere to run as he is forced out of bounds. After losing a couple of yards, it's now second and 12 as they try to keep this drive moving. Throws toward the end zone. And it's caught for the late touchdown. So how about this? Maybe we are set up for a finish. Yeah, and that's step one. Great job by this offense getting in the end zone. Now you got to go get the stop. you got to get the football back. you got to find a way to do something to create a turnover, get an onside to get the football back, to get back in this football game. So, guys, that touchdown was huge, but they have to get the two here to make it a one-possession game. On the option. He's in there for the two-point conversion, and they're down eight here in the fourth. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive. And they close the deal with a 20-yard pass for six. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. East Carolina has it back, and the Purple Pirate offense will go to work. One possession game, getting late, first order of business, just take care of the football. So they call this situation four-minute offense, where you're trying to run the football and throw high percentage passes to maintain possession and bleed the clock. This is a very difficult point of the game to execute at a high level, though. Yeah, and listen, what you understand as an offense is if I get one or two first downs, this ball game's over. And that's your sole objective. Not scoring, take care of the football, get a few first downs, walk out with a W. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Makes the catch around the 50. Good job by the coverage unit to stop the return man. On first down, here comes this offense. Looking to move it through the air. Got it in the middle. It's Hutchinson. They are finding soft spots in this defense. He's got it down to the 25. Looking to go up top on first down. Shoots it to the left. And the catch and run into the end zone. Touchdown, Navy! And this is obviously a no-brainer. Great job by the offense. Great execution. Inside of two minutes, you got to go for two. You, you got to dial up this play, try to tie this football game up. What's your favorite two-point play? Dial it up, and let's tie this game up. What a big play here as they try to tie it up with the two in the waning moments. The option look. He gets into the end zone for the two, and we are tied coming down the stretch. Here comes the kickoff as we are all tied up in the fourth quarter. 
Here he comes from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. East Carolina sending the offense back to work. There's enough time to get the ball down the field here, David, but you've got to make sure you're efficient and avoid mistakes. Yeah, and those two-minute drills, you always talk about the first first down, Jesse. Get that first first down, stop the clock, get some momentum going on offense. Yeah, and good decision-making by the quarterback, too, right? You don't have to be greedy in this situation. Just take what the defense gives you and get yourself in position to win. Garcia wants to throw. And they'll miss the connection here on third down. The Pirates send out the punt unit. He'll try to really get into this one. He's got great speed. Really good job by the coverage team to make the stop, and that's where they'll put it in play. Now this offense is back on the field. They're going to open this drive with a pass. Unleashes one. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And he was on his way. Gets it all the way to the 38. Going up top on first down. And the pressure will get there. The sack. Down he goes in the waiting moments. That could be a costly play. They'll tell you that somebody's always going to pop open, but it didn't happen in time before they got the sack. No, it did not. And you know what? I'm going to remember this. I'm going to remember zone defense. They didn't really have an answer. They weren't ready to get rid of the football. Quarterback hesitated. I got to him and got him on the ground. Might be a good call later on in the game. All right, guys, so here we go in overtime. And just to refresh everyone's memory, alternating possessions starting on the opponent's 25. And it's so nice to be on defense first, to, to set the tone, to understand what you need. Try to hold them to a field goal. The offense knows they can do their job to go out and get a win. Just two possessions, Paul. We're like, you got to be at your best. Yeah, and I love the new rules, too, because in the third overtime possession, it goes to alternating two-point plays back and forth. Who's got anything left in the tank here in OT? To the air on first down. Dances away from the heat. And the quarterback bought some time, but not enough. Down he goes with the sack. This quarterback is thinking to himself, I need to get an NIL deal at some restaurant so I can take my offensive line out and feed them more because I don't think they like me very much right now. I've been sacked six times in this game. It's time to get that new NIL deal paycheck. After the big first down sack, it's second down. Going to run it. It's Harris. They make the stop as he gets it inside the 30 to the 28, a gain of four. Defense getting stingier in their own end of the field. It's third and long from the 28. Floating away. Trying to make magic with his feet. And he gets it just beyond the line of scrimmage before he gets down. So they'll send out the field goal team to try to take the lead here in overtime. It's good. And they've regained the lead. Down by three. It's their turn here in overtime. A touchdown will win it. Here's first down. They'll run the option. Not a whole lot of room to run. Let's give him a couple. On second down, will they go back to the ground game? Now on the option. And a decent game there before the defense makes the stop. Huge third down here. A field goal will send us to another overtime, but a touchdown would win it. They'll try to power their way ahead. And he's brought to the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. Boy, this is just the type of field position this offense wants. Give to the fullback. And he's stuffed by that big defensive tackle up front. Second down coming up on this red zone opportunity. He'll ride his man on the option. 
And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. They haven't gotten much done here. Third down, and they need to at least pick up a few to make the field goal attempt easier. On the option. And he moved it slightly forward. Defense played it well. And now on fourth down, they will put it on the shoulders of the kicker to save them with his foot. This game will come down to this. A field goal try to save them. It's between the uprights and good, and this coach does realize that he still just lost the game, right? We play on first down here in the second overtime period. They'll run the option. Now on second down. Fullback's got it. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Facing third and long from the 21 and hoping not to settle for a field goal. He showed it all there. A little elusiveness, a little power, and he's got the first down. Well, that's kind of the advantage of third and medium, right? Is the defense, you keep them guessing. You could throw it, you can run it. That time they hand it off and they pick it up. Yeah, and you can see the D drop back a little bit. It creates a little bit of space. The running back blasts through, gets the first down. On the option. Bounced off his feet. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. Goes to the option. Now the toss. Touchdown, midshipman! That score gives them the lead here in the second overtime. And a great job by the quarterback, Reese, making the right read. I, I got to get that defense to commit to me. Now I pitch it. Running back catches it. I'll take this. I'll do the rest. But it was a great read by the quarterback. Now in the second overtime, you must go for the two-point conversion. Barges ahead. They do not get the two, and now the lead sits at six in double OT. They know what's in front of them. They have to answer that score with a touchdown. Wants to throw on first down. Got a man. It's Harris. I want to get my running backs the ball in space as much as possible. And sometimes it doesn't work in the running game. But I can throw it to them. I can try to create some space out wide, dump them the football, let them make some catches, and see if I can't get some big plays out of them. And the Pirates have pushed it inside the 20. Powers through the defender. Laundry down on the field as the pass is incomplete, but let's see what the penalty is. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. Line getting set on second down. Garcia to pass. He caught it! Touchdown, East Carolina! They got it in to tie it up here in double overtime, and now the two-pointer will win it. How about the day for this young fella? That's a four-game stretch. Nope, four touchdowns in one game. He has been the focal point of this offense, and he has not disappointed. Have to go for two here in the second overtime, and this one would win the game. They want to throw it. They got it! The two-pointer for the win! Time. 